This is CPM Pre-Calculus, Chapter 3, Number 122. So here we want to solve these without a calculator. So solve for x. Here's an example. Let's go through it. There is a slight error in the example. This should be log base 5 of x squared. And then that would change this to be log base 5 of x squared as well. And then let's go through this because this should be a squared too. But the rest is OK. So if this is the original example here, we have log base 5 of x squared plus 2 log base 5 of 3 is equal to 2. These are both log base 5. So we can combine them once we get rid of the 2 as a coefficient. So we bring this up to the exponent right here using the log law. And then um, once we have this as an exponent here, we have 2 log base 5 being added together. We can go ahead and multiply what they're being taken of using another log law for a product right so x squared times 3 squared is 9x squared now that we have that we can go ahead and rewrite this log of base 5 of 9x squared equals to 2 in exponential form that's just the definition of a log right so this becomes 5 squared equals to 9x squared divide both sides by 9 we get x squared is equal to 25 over 9 square root both sides we get x is equal to plus or minus 5 over 3 but as they note here we reject any negative answer because the domain of any log is positive numbers we cannot put um, x being negative inside log right but since it's x squared here it can be plus or minus so this should be plus or minus as the solution for the example okay if this is x squared Let's go on and do A, okay? A says log base 2 of x cubed is equal to 6. All right, so we can go ahead and rewrite this in exponential form. And that, was, that will give us what we have here being um, as the input to log base 2. x cubed equals 2, then base 2 to the power of 6. Okay, that's just using the definition of log. The definition of a logarithm says you could write these two in two equivalent ways. Okay? Then we can go ahead and solve this by saying, well, x cubed is equal to 2 to the 6. Well, 2 to the 6 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. You can use a calculator for these simple calculations. Okay? So that's going to be. Um, well, actually, we don't need a calculator because. We can look at this and see, well, this is x cubed and 2 to the 6. Well, how are we going to solve for x? We're going to take both sides to the power of x. Well, x cubed, we're going to take it to the power of 1 third. So we have to do that to both sides of the equation. Then we're going to get x alone, right? x alone is equal to 2 to the power of 6 to the power of 1 third. Well, 6 times 1 third is just 6 over 1 times 3, or... 2. So that's 2 to the power of 2. And 2 squared, we don't need a calculator at all. That's just 4. So part A, x is 4. All right. Let's go on to part B. Part B, here we're adding 2 log base 4. Right. So we can combine them into 1 log base 4 by multiplying x and 3. So that's log base 4 of 3x is equal to 2 right just like they did here now we can rewrite this just like we did here using the definition of a log this becomes 3x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 all right now we can just go ahead and simplify by um, dividing both sides by 3 x is 4 squared well 4 times 4 is 16 over 3 all right and 16 over 3 is the value for x all right, that ends for us CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 123.